100. Chris sticking with the game plan. All in. All in. Kaplan puts Chris all in. Chris has just over 11 big blinds behind, having already put 2,900 out there. Could be big pot time for him. Ferguson decides he doesn't want any part of it and folds. Now let's look in on table two where Barry Greenstein has the chip Barry lead and is ahead in an all-in situation He's against nine. online qualifier Blandino Gines. Blandino, a super long shot to win this pot. He'd need running threes. Realistically, he's fishing for a nine or a seven to split the pot. With the win out the window, Blandino's got one more shot at a chop. And that and won't do it. And Barry's moving on. Barry Greenstein moving on. Gines going home. Greenstein moves into the round of 32. We head over to table six where Gavin Smith's all in against Hillary Sahamius. He has him dominated. Gavin had him covered last go round. This time he's taking the best of it, but Ilari has him covered. So far, so good for Gavin's ace high. Ilari is jack fishing. A deuce. Couple deuces on the board now with the turn. Gavin's just got to fade a jack. Sahamius pairs the jack on the river. Second lucky river card, he's landed. Look, Craig, Ilari's thrilled. Can't you tell? He's moving on, look. Action coming quickly here in the poker room. Another all-in situation between online qualifier Leon Yanofsky and Caesars qualifier Jeffrey Ishbia. Jeffrey ahead in the match and has the best hand. Qualifier on qualifier violence. Ishbia pairs his queen on the flop. Leon drawing pretty thin here. He's going to need a couple of runners. Nine of spades on the turn. Bad beats have been going around, Ali. Will there be another? That's the first piece of the puzzle. Leon's fishing for an eight to make a straight and stay alive. Five of spades not meant to be for Yanovsky, so Ishbia will advance. Memorable experience for both of these guys. About to get that much more memorable for Jeffrey Ishbia. He's going to face Phil Helmuth in the next round. Back over at table four, an almost three to one chip advantage for Gabe Kaplan. Ferguson with ace four, and he moves all in. At one point in this match, Chris had the three to one chip lead. Kaplan with ace six calls. Chris has ace four offsuit. You got two suits to my one. For Gabe Kaplan. Here's the plot. 36% of the time, these two guys are going to split the pot. Uh oh. <laughs> Inside straight draw for though. Ferguson. He's fishing for a three to make a wheel here. He can also spike a four. Another low one. He gets that four nice on the one. turn. That's a good low one. Now Kaplan is going to need a three or a six to eliminate Chris. Trip fours for Jesus on the river. He's walking on water. Again, the stacks level between these two heavyweights. So three more players surviving the first round here in the spades bracket. Barry Greenstein, Ilari Sahamius, and Jeffrey Ishbia advancing to the round of 32. More from the National Heads Up Poker Championship in a moment. There's a look at Pure, the nightclub where we held our pairings party. And inside the poker room, two gentlemen who might frequent that establishment, yeah, yeah. Gavin Griffin and Tom Dwan, a.k.a. Durr. There are new featured table matches. Save us some time. What else are you supposed to do when you're in your 20s and a millionaire? Go party, right? Duh. Durr. <laughs> Dwan with King Deuce. He calls Griffin with six tray, and he'll check. Dwan pairs his deuce, but Griffin pairs his six on the flop. Check, check. King on the turn gives Dwan two pair. Don't expect him to check this time around. He bets 1650. And Griffin calls. And the reason Gavin's calling this bet isn't because he thinks sixes are a huge hand here. He just needs to be sure that Tom isn't trying to pick up dead money out there. King's full for Duan. Durr bets 3300. If Gavin's hand had been good on the turn, it would still be good now. And this is where he has to ask himself if Tom is capable of bluffing the river with a bet of 3,300. Oh. 
Full house. Griffin comes up with the wrong answer on this one. That's all right. Gavin guessed wrong. It's going to cost him 5,500. We head back over to table four. Kaplan and Ferguson. Kaplan with a slight chip advantage. And pocket tens. But raised to 3,600. Kaplan raises to 3,600. Ferguson with jack seven. Lines are at six and 1,200. Almost 5% of the total chips out there in the blinds to start every hand. Ferguson oh. calls. 7,200 in the pot heading to the flop. Open-ended straight draw for Ferguson on the flop. Chris moves all in. Aggressive play here by Ferguson. I right, call. Kaplan right, call. calls. What Chris was trying to do here, Craig, is semi-bluff. He moved Kaplan. all in, trying to win the pot if he was up against a smaller pair or two overcards. As it is, he's been called and can still win with a five, a 10, or a jack. Two tens, of course, already locked up in Gabe's hand. Nines on the board give Kaplan two pair. It takes away my 10. Ferguson can no longer hit the 10. He needs a five or a jack. He doesn't get it. The queen on the river means last year's heads up champion is headed home. So Moses eliminating Jesus. While at table number one, Elke is all in with flush and straight draws against Collins, King High. Last time we checked in with this match, Elke had Collins all in. Now the roles are reversed. Collins on the verge of a big upset. Elke needs to pair his deuce or five or hit a three for a wheel or a heart for a flush. The four doesn't change much. Elke can hit a nine to split the pot the now. A lot of outs. And it is Elke hard. hits the Elke. flush on the river. Collins was oh so close to advancing, but now very, very short stacked. Meanwhile, back at our featured table, we have an all-in and call situation between Gavin Griffin and Durr. Dwan has the best hand and has Griffin covered. Gavin started the hand with just under 14,000 in chips with the blinds at six and 1,200. He's happy to gamble with Jack-8 suited, having moved all in. Flop, no real help. All black cards. He's high, still good. Not a good looking board for Gavin Griffin's hand. Here's the turn. Durr's ace 10 in the lead. Rag on the turn. Griffin down to a jack or an eight. Six outs to double up and stay alive. Here's the river. Another rag on the river means Dwan's ace high holds up and he will advance to the next round. Power poker between these two young guns. Tom gets the best of them this time. Fred Collins is all in for less than the big blind against Elke. Ace two suited, not a bad hand to wake up with, but Elke with pocket fours here. King trade jack, not much help for Collins on the flop. He's gonna need running clubs or running cards for eight a wheel. Diamonds. The eight of diamonds makes sure but that's not a possibility. And Fred now down to just one of three aces. The river, the river doesn't help, so it's Elke moving on. Give credit to Fred Collins though, Craig. He really got Elke's heart pumping. Two hands ago, had him up against the ropes. So Elke has an auspicious start to his Heads Up Championship debut, moving on to the second round. Among the seven others joining him from the spades bracket, Gabe Kaplan, John Juanda, Phil Helmuth, and Barry Greenstein. Do what you gotta do, Phil. How much you have left, though, Mike? Count your chips, you'll know. Here's the river. It's an ace. You deserve better, buddy. And it is a six. Fred Collins makes a straight. And it is a jack. Nice game. Nice game. He deserves to win this one, boys. Don't worry. Next Sunday at noon Eastern, tune in for heads-up action in the round of 64 from the Hearts and Diamonds brackets for Ali Najad and.